despite health worries, she posed with two fell ponies last month at Windsor. She is at Sandringham for her big day. Prince Harry has sparked a fresh row by announcing on US TV that he is protecting the Queen. The Duke of Sussex claimed on NBC Today he was ensuring Her Majesty has got the right people around her. Palace aides were left reeling by the breathtaking arrogance of Harry, who until last week had not seen his gran for more than a year. In comments beamed around the world, Harry, 37, said he was not sure whether or not he would take up the invitation to attend Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee in June, blaming security issues and everything else for his indecision. During the interview, and despite missing last month's Thanksgiving service for his grandfather Prince Philip, Harry bragged about his really special relationship with Her Majesty, who is 96 today. He said, we talk about things that she can't talk about with anybody else, so that is always a nice piece to her. Harry implied criticism of royal household staff who looked after the Queen during Covid in what was jokingly dubbed, HMS Bubble, when he said, I'm just making sure she's protected and has got the right people around her. But he dodged a question on whether or not he misses Prince Charles, 73, and 39-year-old Prince William, adding, when first leave here, I get back and my focus is on my family who I miss massively. Harry risked widening his gulf with William by saying, in a comment about their mum, Diana, it's almost as though she's done her bit with my brother and now she's very much, like, helping me. Palace insiders, however, were stunned that Harry had a dig at those close to the monarch and shared details of their recent rendezvous for a US TV audience. One royal expert described him as a loose cannon regarding the interview, details of which were not cleared with Buckingham Palace. An insider said, It beggars belief that you'd criticise devoted royal household staff who left their loved ones for three weeks at a time during Covid to carry out HMS bubble and protect the Queen from Covid. Charles, William, Princess Anne, Prince Edward and Prince Andrew regularly see the Queen and often stay over at Windsor Castle. Harry is talking to American Breakfast Television about one short meeting for tea with the Queen, which was the first time in more than two years that both him and Meghan have seen her together. The royal family will need serious assurances that if he does come back for the Platinum Jubilee that his and Meghan's appearance will be for the right reasons, to celebrate the Queen's 70 years on the throne, and not to just boost his profile in America. Harry was followed by an entourage yesterday as he rode his bike while his interview was aired in the US. He watched indoor rowing at the games at The Hague in the Netherlands. The Sun understands he is due to mark the Queen's birthday today in some fashion. Her Majesty, meanwhile, flew by helicopter yesterday to her Sandringham estate in Norfolk. She will stay at Wood Farm Cottage where her beloved husband spent a great deal of time in his later years.